those we're working on today. 2010 Caravan, 11 Caravan, a Dodge. Uh, no, it's a Ford. 2005 Ford Explorer. Uh, it come in with a complaint. Uh, not blowing good heat. So, first thing we do is check the antifreeze. Well, and these, it's kind of hard to do that. But I did, and you can check it right here, and it is full. Next thing you do is the thermostat. Uh, and your thermostat is right here. Take these three bolts out, and it looks like it just comes right off. Uh, if you don't look at it right, it looks like you have to take this whole plate off. You don't. Um, and this is a 4.0 is what this is. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our tools ready. And we're going to go ahead and get this taken care of. Okay, what you're going to need for this job is a 8mm uh, socket, 3 inch extension. You're going to need a ratchet and if you have a pair of hose pinching pliers that's awesome if you don't pick a pair up they're only like 20 bucks um, well worth it and I like to use a pair of angled needle nose okay so what we're gonna do is first things first is we're gonna pinch our line off and we're gonna do that right about here Pinch it shut, that way we don't lose a whole bunch of antifreeze. We're going to lose some no matter what. We're going to go ahead and uh, loosen our bolts up. Just like so. And once you get these loose, you can uh, take them out with your fingers pretty much with your extension. Uh, because it's in plastic and that is something that you got to watch too is you do not want to um, over torque these okay and then all you're going to do is you're going to just unscrew it and one thing I forgot to mention um, that I should have make sure your engine is cool you don't want to burn yourself uh, you don't want to take this off and get some hot antifreeze because that's not fun um, apparently I didn't loosen that one enough and normally these will just come right apart you don't have to pry on them or anything like that I mean saying that they are plastic you don't want to pry very much anyways because you're gonna end up breaking something Okay, here we are. Got our three bolts out. We're going to pull up. Comes right off, just like that. Okay, and this is your thermostat. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle nose pliers and pull that up out of there. But what we're going to do first is get our um, new thermostat ready to go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take our thermostat. We're going to come over here. And this is something you always do no matter what. Compare it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the right one, as you can see. So, we're kind of at a standstill. So what they're going to do is they're going to send this... Uh, the right thermostat out to me uh, so I can get this replaced um, and this does happen so there's just something to think about always compare your parts before you go too far because you know this does happen and you may call around and nobody has one and then you got a customer that's kind of upset so I will get back to you when they bring me my part Okay, we got our thermostat delivered. Uh, what we're going to do 
is all you do is just take the old one out and uh, sometimes you have to, have to take a pair of pliers and just wiggle it around but it will come out either way and what you're going to do is take your o-ring off just like that and you're going to set it down and don't mix it up with the old one remember how it come out and you're going to put your new o-ring on and you're going to set that right down in there like that and then you're going to go ahead and that o-ring is supposed to seal this all up so what we're going to do is we're going to set it back down on and get our bolts put in okay we got our thermostat delivered uh, what we're going to do is all you do is just take the old one out and uh, sometimes you have to, have to take a pair of pliers and just wiggle it around but it will come out either way and what you're going to do is take your o-ring off just like that and you're going to set it down and don't mix it up with the old one remember how it come out and you're going to put your new o-ring on and you're going to set that right down in there like that and then you're going to go ahead and that o-ring is supposed to seal this all up so what we're going to do is we're going to set it back down on and get our bolts put in okay now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put your bolts back in And what I do is uh, I run them down, start at the one corner, run them down by finger, go to the next, and uh, you're pretty much good. And then snug them down with the ratchet. And because uh, I don't know the torque specs, I don't do that torque spec stuff unless it's on heads and intakes and stuff. Um, well, what you're going to do is snug them down. And once you get them snugged down, you're going to check and make sure you didn't lose a whole lot of antifreeze, which I know I didn't because I used uh, the pinch pliers. So you can pretty much go ahead and start it up. Uh, like I said, make sure they're nice and snug. Just like that and you're good and what you're going to do is take make sure you take your pinch pliers off if you're using them and get everything out from underneath the hood and I'll get right back to you and we'll fire it up Freeze in the tank is still up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the vehicle and we're going to go ahead and keep an eye on the temperature gauge. We're going to turn the heater on and we're going to just make sure uh, it's going to blow heat. So if you want to give it a little gas, give it a little gas and uh, There's the temperature gauge right here. This should start going up. It's already blown heat. So what I like to do, this is just what I like to do, is I like to take my temperature, uh, infrared temperature gauge, and measure the heat that's coming out of the duct. Uh, and make sure you got it on there. Um, 
Right now, it is 95 degrees. Um, when I brought this vehicle over, I personally picked this vehicle up. It was uh, pretty doggone cold. I had to wear my gloves. So, as you can see, the gauge is going up. Temperature is going up, which is a good sign. And apparently we don't got no air. If it does, it'll work its way out. Um, so, I think we're going to call this good. Uh, let's go out and check and see if uh, we got any leaks. If we don't have any leaks, we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Uh, so that's how you change the thermostat in the 2005 Ford Explorer. Thanks for watching. Like the video, rate the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave it down below. I'll get right back to you. Um, sorry it took a little longer than what I expected, but hey, that's the life of a mechanic. So thanks for watching.